going. It might be something that you might think, you know, um, that you might not even get through. It could be sickness. It could be finance. It could be family. We're going through something. We're going through something. Could be your work. You're going through something. Could be your children. You're going through something. And we look at our Bible scriptures today. Uh, we're going to be looking at Isaiah 61, verses 1 and 2. And this is the reason for blessing. The spirit of the Lord God is upon you, Neil. It's on you, Barbs. It's on you, Scott. It's on you, Kevin. It's on you, Conan. It's on you, Gemma. It's on you, Emma. It's on you, Petru. It's on myself. I'm going to proclaim it over myself and over you because the spirit of the god is upon you because the lord today has anointed me to preach the good news hallelujah he's anointed you also to do the same thing hallelujah to preach good tidings to the poor the scripture said blessed are the poor in spirit for they shall inherit and receive the kingdom of God. To proclaim liberty to the captives. Hallelujah. Who wants to be set free this morning? And the opening of the prisons to those who are bound and to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. You see, when God blesses someone, it's not just to enjoy that blessing and keep it for themselves. Hallelujah. It's for us to share that blessing with others. It's for us to share that blessing in our communities, in our fellowship, hallelujah, in our church, in our workplace. And it's also for us to use the blessing hallelujah yeah we need to use the blessing that's been given to us you know so let's 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 just have a quick analogy here you know i've been taken out of um um, um the, the, the 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 realms of addiction hallelujah been taken out of that literally you know a crackhead through and through do you know what i mean somebody who couldn't live and and get up do you know what i mean without getting and using and finding ways to means to get more that was my role hallelujah so god has taken me out of that so you know he wants me to use that in maybe that particular area so what has god taken you out of you know, maybe since you've been clean, what has God freed you from? He wants you to use the blessing. You see, another thing, and I'll say it right now, God won't bless selfish people. So if you've been given something, hallelujah, and I'll tell you where the scripture shows this. Hallelujah. If you've been given something and you don't use it, go to the parable of the, the, the talents. See the reaction of our mighty Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. OK, so if you've been given something. You've been given uh, a restoration from sanity. You've been given a. Uh, 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 You've been taken out of your addiction. You've been set free and you don't use that blessing. Hallelujah. 
it's not a good look. And you can refer to the parable of the sowers. Don't shoot the messenger me this morning. What's he talking about? How dare him? I'm going through stuff. He can't talk to, say, can't say that to me. I'm going through some stuff right now. Yeah, how dare you call me selfish? No, not me. Scripture. You see, God's objective is to spread the gospel. Hallelujah. The, 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 the message of Christ. Spread the blessing that we've received, the, the blessing of salvation, hallelujah. The blessing that we can receive this access to this holiness, the blessing that we can receive our God, the spirit of God living inside of us to guide us and lead us, to empower us, hallelujah. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling very excited this morning. And spread the word. And to not hold back. Hallelujah. So we ought to be praying for the boldness to speak the word in every situation that we can. And as Christians, we need to develop in a place where we can be mature in our faith. To continue being attractive to others. You see. We're not to hold people back. We're to build them up, encourage them, lift them up. You see, when he heals someone, it's not just for them to live longer, but it's for them to testify to those who are ill. To those who are poor and oppressed, whether they're evangelizing or whether they're doing social work. I remember when I was a Christian, and um, I didn't really have much faith. I wasn't, um, I wasn't bold at all. And, um, you know, I was in that workplace, you know, trying to keep myself to myself. And um, I didn't have too much to say. Yeah, I'd, I'd say I'd go to church and everything else. But what I did do was I, I went to work with my Bible and I'd put my Bible on my desk every day. Plonk. And the Bible spoke more than me. Hallelujah. <laughs> Just placing it on that workplace drew people to have conversations with me about my faith. So if you're not an evangelizer or you're not somebody who goes out there and you go to work, you know, you're called into that workplace to be a representation, just like the pastor's called to be a representation in the church. We're called to share what God has given you with others. This is the purpose of God's blessing in your life. And we know that those who care about their neighbor think like God. It says, love the Lord your God with all your heart and love the neighbor as yourself. Who is your neighbor? Is a question I'm putting to you today. Who is your neighbor? Is your neighbor that person in 12 step fellowship in a meeting? Is your neighbor that person in work? Or do you still see your neighbor as the one next door? The purpose of God's blessing is to care about our neighbor and think like God because we have the right to be blessed, but this blessing is meant to help our family and others as much as possible. Amen. This is the law of life. Jesus said, give and it will be given up to you. Many people complain that they can't be blessed. They can't be blessed because they're tithing and they're offering givers and anything of themselves. They want to be blessed, but they don't think of others. This is why they don't develop. Think of your neighbor, but be willing to help those who need help. And you'll be, you will surely see breakthrough. Cultivate a desire to be blessed. And you will see breakthrough. You see this chapter. This chapter tells us about the blessings which will come through our Lord Jesus Christ. 
when he comes. That short message. The message says that God's spirit was upon him to do the work, both at his first coming and also at his second coming. We've been in the book of Revelations getting into looking at some of his second coming. So we see that the spirit, the anointed one, Jesus, seven reasons that the spirit was upon him. It was to preach the good news to the poor people. It was to give hope to all who are sad. And it was to set the prisoners free. It was to announce the good day has come, that the Lord is here, that the Lord is with us, to comfort mourners, those that were sick, to give joy instead of sorrow, and to give men a song of praise. We touched on some of this in our Bible study on Monday. That our praise is important. That our worship is important. But also our building up of each other and our relationship with the Lord is the most important thing that we can do. We know that these two things are hinged on all the commandments. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and love the neighbour as you love yourself. The Lord helped Isaiah to do the work which he had given to him. He helped him. He helped him in every single way, in every shape and form. When everybody was saying, this man's a lunatic. You know, the Lord was with him all the time. And I'm sure you guys get it. I certainly do. <laughs> you know. And sometimes it can feel like, oh, a bit lonely sometimes. Can feel a bit ostracized. Can feel, you know, a bit like, you know, unpopular at times. And we know the road is narrow. But the Lord Jesus was born by the power of the Holy Spirit, Luke 1, 3, 5. And that spirit was always with our Savior. However, the spirit came on the Lord in a special way after he was baptized in the River Jordan. And we have seen that God's anointed for the purpose of delivering his people in Israel. Both priests and kings were anointed. In Exodus 29, 7, it shows us. In Samuel 16, 3, it shows us. In Kings, it shows us. It says the word Messiah is the Hebrew of for the form anointed and Christ has the same meaning. That the spirit anointed the Lord Jesus to be both king and priest. Psalms 45, verse 6 and 7. That the spirit of wisdom was upon him and the spirit was proof that God approved his son. Hallelujah. Amen. That God appointed his son to announce two important things. The time of God's grace and the time of his judgment. And there are millions of poor people in this world today. That we should tell them the good news. That Christ can save them right now. On the cross. The finished work of the cross, we also saw that everyone has hope. Even the thief next to him. One body's heart. On the cross, the cruel insults, insults of men broke his heart. Because he loves to heal those who suffer for his sake. Satan has bound all men in chains of sin. He's bound them and has blinded us. We were lost, but now we're found. We can see the truth today, amen? He's bound them with his great lies. The lie is, come follow me in the world. You don't need all that. Some people might even say to you today, you don't need all that. Well, I do. I need a relationship with Christ today. More so than anything. Because I know 
where my blindness can take me. And that's why I need today to, to be in that place where I'm submitting and I'm dying and I'm asking God to help me in my weaknesses. And this is where prayer comes in. It doesn't make sense to pray without faith. The Bible says that there, there are sincere people who have honest doubts about the uh, efficiency of prayer. They have prayed sincerely. They have prayed fervently for a noble cause, but their requests were not granted. One Christian showed nine passages in the Bible where the Lord promises to answer prayer. The promises were direct and promises. And he concluded by saying, well, when I asked God to heal my wife, he didn't keep one of those promises. She died in hospital. His prayer went up, but it did not bring anything down. At least he thought it went up. But I have an idea it was grounded. The prayer of faith is God's delight. Prayer must be in faith. Unbelieving prayer is a waste of energy and it's a waste of words. A Christian life must begin with faith and it must continue by faith as a dead man is no man at all. So a prayer without faith is no prayer at all. I'm going to say that again. As a dead man is no man at all. So prayer without faith is no prayer at all. But the prayer of faith is God's delight. We are instructed. And whatever things you ask for in prayer, believe in, you will receive. Matt 21, 22, has faith in God. Mark 11, 22. And whatever is not from faith is sin. <laughs> Romans 14, 23. Unbelief displeases God. And therefore, must be classified as sin. Hard. Harsh. But I'm speaking it out right now. Unbelief displeases God. And therefore, must be classified as sin. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is, that he is the rewarder. And those who diligently seek him, Hebrews 11, verse 6. George Milner, he left a lifelong record of his prayers and their answers, more than 25,000 of them. And on one occasion, when asked by a friend to explain his secret, Miller replied, have faith in God. And if I was to interpret George Mil Milner correctively, he was not placing the emphasis of the word faith, but rather the word God. George, George Milner knew God, so his faith was not in his own boldness or in his own daring, but in the living of God as the object of his prayer that makes the difference. He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up. How shall he not with him also freely give up all things? Romans 8.32. To know God is to trust God. Hallelujah. There was two things I was, I was preparing a, 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 a study for the church. And, 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 and we're looking at, uh, I was looking at uh, in, in um, Abraham's faith in, in, in Genesis. And um, there was two things that came to mind, um, as well as the obedience Excellent. As well as the obedience, as well as the obedience, um, the other thing that came to mind was the trust. The trust. That we need to trust as well as be obedient. I call your attention to the remarkable scripture passage of faith and prayer. Now, this is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. 
And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petition that we have asked of him. 1 John 5, 14, 15. This is the confidence that we have in him. There is no point at all in coming to God in prayer if we don't have the confidence in him. Abraham did not waver. He was not weak in faith, but was strong in faith. He was a man who had confidence in God. He did not merely believe in God, but believed God. And when God gave him the promise, Abraham put the amen to it. And that's what we need to be doing. When God gives us a promise, we need to be putting the amen stamp to it and just moving in faith. Hallelujah. And not doubting. We can translate it correctly by amen, that God, that when God told Abraham that he would give him the un some measurable seed abraham said amen and so be it confidence the letter to the hebrews spells out the definition of faith he says now faith is the substance the confidence of things hoped for the evidence the conviction of things that are unseen i tell you when i first came into recovery back after a relapse that smashed me to pieces hallelujah you know that i was out there in the wilderness for five years stripped myself bare of everything hallelujah millionaire status thousands of pounds in the bank luxury cars luxury homes luxury business stripped to the to back being homeless begging on the street hallelujah looking like a tramp smoking crack cocaine every day and not giving a toss about the way i lived who are who are who are who are subdued who are subjected who i took hostage who are hurt Live it like that. When I came in, I was a broken man. I couldn't see past my feet because my head was looking down like that. By the faith, that God could do it for me again. By the faith that God could restore me back to sanity. I had a faith that God could rebuild my life. I had a faith that I could get clean. I knew that would have to be the starting point of it. And I'm still that work in process. Hallelujah. I haven't got all the things I want. But I've certainly got all the things that I need. And there's more to come. All glory to God. We must not encourage in ourselves or others any tendencies to work up a subjective, a, subject, a subjective state. If we've succeeded, we should describe it as faith with the idea that we somehow ensure the granting of our prayer. And we need to encourage others, particularly those who are weak in their faith, particularly those who we might see lost at times, particularly those who we sometimes might even make mistakes. And I had a conversation with someone on this platform here yesterday, and he, you know, and we had a conversation, you know, and and we was able to talk about you know a situation, and we was able to talk about you know that particular situation, and you know, after that conversation, you know, I was able to reflect and look at. Maybe, 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 I, maybe, I, maybe I did something right. Maybe I could have done something better, you know. And that's what it's all about. Also, having that courage to just kind of like, you know, just kind of like, you know, to be able to pick up the phone and say, Do you know what, you know, I wasn't quite happy about that, but let's look at this together. That's love. To be able to kind of like just be in like brothers and sisters, supporting and looking out for each other. And I believe, you know, genuine faith brings genuine friendships. Amen. May God bless you. May God keep you. May God shine his face upon you all this morning. And may the Lord Jesus give you his peace. Amen. If you want to come back in and share this morning, feel free to do so. If you've got any prayer requests, feel free to do so. If not, I'll have an early morning and we'll close. Time for you to come in.
Morning, Ivor. Morning, Neil. God bless you, bro. Morning, sorry, I, I'm on the mobile, so I couldn't find the um, the hand up button. That's Morning, right. all. God bless you. That's all right, buddy. Uh, just a couple of things that you mentioned. So, yeah, it's, it's easy for us sometimes to forget how, where we've come from and what we've been delivered from. And there's multiple things that we've been delivered from. It might not just be addictions, but it could be loads of things. It could be relationships. It could be anything. And God just continues to keep working. So we have to keep that faith. Um, and then I know this much, you know, I'm not where I want to be, but I'm certainly not where I was. And I'm certainly in a better place now than where I was. If you go back a year and a half ago, I was heavy into drugs, heavy into drink. I was in a mess. And where I am today is completely different. I'm in the gym even at the moment, so excuse the noise in the background. So, you know, we have to keep pushing forward and know that God's doing a good work in us, um, changing us, giving us keys to the kingdom every day as, as we keep growing in ourselves and, and what have you. And I think finally, the thing is that what you said about, you know, about disagreements, what have you. You know, we are going to have disagreements, you know, with people outside, but then also with brothers and sisters in the faith. But I think the key thing is, like you say, is to talk about it and to approach each other with respect and also to know that we all come from a good place. We all come from a place where we're following Christ. So we all have this one main thing in common, which is God. And that's love and that's joy and that's peace and that's harmony, and especially amongst each other. So, so yeah, if we just can just be honest and open and talk to each other respectfully and, you know, have those self-respect for ourselves and self-respect for each other, then we're just going to continue to grow from strength to strength. So God bless you, brother. And, you know, you're, as always, God is on you. God is in you and you're so powerful. And we just thank you. We bless you and we, and we thank God for you so much, others. So thank you all. Have a blessed and wonderful day. God bless you. Praise God, praise God, praise God. And it's, listen, it's always good to see you, Neil. Do you know what I mean? It's really, really, really good to see you. And I'm just really seeing you blossom in, in your own faith. And, um, you know, the inside out job as well. I see, I see the external, do you know what I mean? Developing, but I also see the internal, hallelujah, developing as well. So, you know, in tandem, and that's how it should be. So that's absolutely wonderful, man. You listen, you're 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 you're, you're an attraction. You know, since you come here, do you know what I mean. I, I, if we tell people how we met, do you know what I mean? Through the through the through them boards, do you know what I mean? You know, my 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 missus says to me, do you know what I mean? Why did you spend all that money on them boards? Do you know what I mean? And go around wasting your time? Do you know what I mean? There is the reason, Gemma, right there. Nil, hallelujah. <laughs> there it is, right there. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Over to you, Sister Gemma. <laughs> Morning. Now, it just shows we know how much Neil was worth to come to Faith Walk. <laughs> Funny that. Um, there was something you said, but um, I can't even remember what it was, to be honest. But it must have got me thinking. So um, it was something I'm really starting to really understand. Um, like we can say obviously we're Christians and this and that, but I've just really like over the last few days really been thinking about the importance of that relationship, really understanding that um obviously like you said, you've been busy doing stuff for the church with them scriptures and you spent time talking about it and um it's really um helped me understand like we can all be like, oh, I'm under attack or be under attack from the enemy. But if we're walking close with Jesus, like nothing can get in between with that. Do you know what I mean? Nothing can stop that love of God. Like it literally says it. And um, just the importance of really understanding, because I never grew up knowing what was right and what was wrong. I had a bit of a internal thing about it, but I don't know. It was like I just didn't learn these things growing up. It's not that my mum didn't even try and say, oh, that don't do that, that's not right. It was like something blocking my brain. And um, I don't know, it just stopped me, it stunted me in my growth. It made me do stupid things. Um, and it was just, it, like looking back now it was strange because like I, I I think I do know what's right and wrong but it was like I couldn't think about it at the time do you know what I mean so 
yeah, I think I've just been really like understanding that connection and having that connection with the Holy Spirit to understand like where I'm going wrong, what I'm doing, and um like when people are frustrating me or I'm losing patience and stuff to really look at it as an inward, not about like what's wrong with them, why they like this, da 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 da. Look at, trying to look at it from more of a point of okay, I need to show more patience, I need to show more love, I need to show more tolerance and also learning to get my like it's important that we we explain ourselves to people and what they're doing and making letting people know um but learning is like it's a learning curve isn't it we have to learn how to do that so obviously for example one of my children she really frustrates me and she makes me really angry because she doesn't she just wants to do her own thing all the time and it it might not be anything that's affecting anything in the household it's not like she wants to be naughty or anything but my need for making sure everything's in control and in order um outgrows the need for her just wanting to do her own thing and it can be difficult when she doesn't want to listen and obviously she's only young so I need to really um, try a different tactic, working with the Holy Spirit of how to parent this child um, because she can be difficult. Um, not in a bad way, though. This is the thing. She's not causing any problems. She just might want to stay up and watch TV. and Yeah, so I, I really got to try a different approach with that. So that's one area I'm struggling with right now from today and apart from that it's really it is it's really it is it's an exciting journey isn't it we always have things come up that challenge us and change us and mold us and grow us and being in ministry is um is always a tough one it's always difficult you get things that are thrown at you and um being being a mother is always a tough one. Being a wife is always t- a tough one. But like these are the gifts of recovery, and these are the gifts that God has given me. So it's really important that, like, if you it's just like that saying, if you don't 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 use it, you'll lose it. Do you know what I mean? So it's kind of like if I don't love it, like I'm gonna lose it. And I loved what you spoke about in your relapse because. Like, there was people saying, like, I don't think he's ever going to get right again. I don't think, I don't think Ivor's brain is ever going to be able to get over this relapse. Do you know what I mean? And that just shows the power of God because when we're walking through that fire and we're in relapse mode and, oh, we're in that tragedy, it's like we can never see what God has got in front of our eyes do you know what I mean and I remember the same thing I wasn't even in relapse mode I just didn't know any other way of living and I knew there was something better for me I knew like why am I doing this to myself on a daily basis like there must be something better for me I know I had that gift of faith to know there was something better and I knew why do I keep doing this I cannot keep doing this to myself like and it takes a long time, do you know what I mean? It does take a long time because the first year of recovery was awful. It was absolutely awful. And it just takes such a long time. Like in our head we think, oh, I'll get six months clean and I'll be okay. And it didn't work like that for me. And I know it definitely didn't work like that for you. So that thing of really learning to walk, 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 walk right and um, walk the way that we should be walking and and um yeah it's really powerful obviously we know that we can't please God with our works but 
there's no reason to keep willfully sinning and walking around claiming we're a Christian and doing all these things. I think we really need to assess our relationship with Christ. So that's from it for me. And uh, thanks for being here. You're muted. Yeah, I'm here. Amen, Sister Gemma. And uh, I really know the, uh, the, 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 the worth, should I say, the, you know, do you know what I mean? Sometimes I look back, do you know what I mean? My relapse was costly, but I tell you what, man, it's so rich today, man. Do you know what I mean? Uh, you know, the fulfillness of what, what, what um, the joy that what God has brought into my life, you know, into my marriage with my children, you know, how he's kind of like blessed me, you know, blessed me beyond being blessed in a sense. And, and as I said, I believe he's not even started yet. Hallelujah. You know, and that's, you know, that's just, it's just, it's just awesome. It's absolutely awesome. So I know the reason why I relapsed was to, you know, God wanted me to, to link up with you and my beautiful wife. Do you know what I mean? I love you to pieces and you do a fantastic job, you know, not just looking after the children, but also looking after me and all the other things that you do behind the scenes. You're a, you're, you're a beautiful wife. You're a caring, loving person. And do you know what I mean? You know, although me and Conan are going to be hiding downstairs away from you, hallelujah, this weekend, because when she gets going, you know, she's quite frightening, hallelujah. So we shall be, uh, we're, we're going to be hiding in the coast um, this weekend weekend Conan man we got a, a, an exciting weekend my brother Conan I'm looking forward to to him coming down this weekend and spending some time with us and uh you know we're gonna go and have some fun but we're gonna stay downstairs away from Gemma and the children hey eh, Conan hallelujah we're gonna go to the gym we're gonna do sauna we're gonna go to church we're gonna have some fun god bless you but Gemma hallelujah and Gemma's gonna um, be serving us hallelujah <laughs> like a good wife also does <laughs> hey hallelujah glory to god anybody else coming in more jokes this morning <laughs> father god does anybody else want to come in before we close we just lift up this meeting to you how are you doing emma it's good to see you in there this morning so wonderful to see you um how are you uh I just want to pray for you. I want to lift you up in prayer this morning. Father God, I just want to just pray for my sister right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray, Lord, it's really good to see my sister back here this morning, Lord. I just lift her up to you, Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord I just pray that you strengthen her through the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord, I just pray, Lord, that, that you just you just lead her and continue to lead her, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, that the circumstances that she's probably looking at right now are probably too big for her or she might even think that they're a bit overwhelming right now in the name of Jesus but you have a plan in the mighty name of Jesus and you will continue to bring it to fruitation that you know Lord that as the Bible says that you who started a good work in Emma will bring it to completion in the mighty name of Jesus we lift her up to you today we lift her children up to you today we lift all her circumstances around her to you today in the mighty name of Jesus Lord and we just pray that you'll continue to bless her strengthen Strengthener, empower by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, I pray that you cover her, Lord, that, that she puts on the full armor of God. Hallelujah. Today to walk and stand with you in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you will edify her, that you will lead her, Lord, in the name of Jesus. But all power and authority come from you, Lord. Let her know that parity, the power and authority is with her because of you today, Lord, that nothing is too big for her today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, I just want to come in and say a few things, Ivor. Come in. <clears throat> yeah, do you know what? Like, I was led and I was really listening to that scripture. And um, what a beautiful piece of scripture. And it really just was a big, massive eye-opener for me this morning. Um, you know, that prayer without faith. And um, it, like, had so, so much meaning to me this morning to it. I was thinking, when I pray, like, be honest to yourself and do you really have that faith you know and so and I had to question that like am I praying with that sincere faith it's like we are taught faith without work it is dead isn't it 
man. You know, and it was just, I just had this overwhelming, you know, it was a big eye opener for me this morning. I really, really enjoyed that scripture. It's just given me a whole, like, new meaning and a, and a new, a new look at things, I suppose. And it's just, um, yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah. And I, I'm really excited to start my journey again. Um, you know, with you guys and with Gemma, and I, I'm 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 excited, and I have faith in what is to come. You know, what is to come. You know, I believe Jesus is going to work in in my life for me, for my children, and um, you know, I believe I believe that this time it's this is this is my time. I really do. Amen, amen, sister. Amen, 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 amen to that. If you can, if you can. Um... Uh, a booking with um, Sister Gemma uh, yeah. before I go this week. We want to pray for you. You know, we're a deliverance ministry, and we want to deliver. You. We want to deliver you through the power of the Holy Spirit. You know, we want to. We want to just really go into you know a, a, an intercession with you, me and Gemma directly. So get that booked in with Gemma over the next couple of days. We're going to need a couple of hours. So um, yeah. get that booked in before I go. I will do. Thank, Thank you, you Ivor. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we just lift up this meeting to you. We just thank you, Lord, that when the word says we're to a gathered in your name, that you're in the midst of us right here, right now. Father, Lord, I just pray that you continue to lead every single one of us in our faith today, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. I just pray that, that, you, that, that no matter what's going on, Lord, in our circumstances, I lift up Brother Scott and in his workplace, Lord, I pray, Lord, that you will continue to to guard his mind and his heart lord i pray that you 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 continue to to lead him in the mighty name of jesus i pray that lord, your power and your anointing is on him lord in the name of jesus lord i pray that you that, that he will overflow today in you hallelujah lord that there will be no fear or lack in any of our lives in the mighty name of jesus i pray for my brother petru lord it's a great that he's here in the name of jesus lord that we thank you jesus for what you're doing in this platform lord receive each and every single one of us through the power of the holy spirit lord i lift up our sister barbs to you i lift up my brother Connor to you in the name of Jesus, Lord, in his workplace right now, Lord, I pray that no weapon formed against him shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for the covering of the Holy Spirit amongst us, Lord. Hallelujah. As as, as, as you just elevate us and quicken us in our heart and, and your mind right now, Lord. Dispatch your ministering spirits to surround us with your glory today in the name of Jesus, Lord. I pray for that fresh anointing to come upon us right now because as the word said, the spirit is upon us in the name of Jesus that you are upon us mighty god father god lord as we call upon your name that we give you glory honor and praise here this morning lord we lift your name up high because you're the name above all names king of kings lord of lords hallelujah that we serve a mighty god that you are the alpha and you are omega hallelujah lord that your word does not return void in the name of jesus lord that all power and authority come from you hallelujah that we submit to you today father god we thank you jesus hallelujah oh but no weapon for formed against us can prosper in the mighty name of Jesus because of who we are in you that we are children of the most high hallelujah ambassadors in Christ the righteousness of Christ hallelujah glory to God that we are oh hallelujah oh glory all oh, glory to you father God we just praise you this morning hallelujah we just praise you Lord this morning hallelujah that we walk in that sanctification that we walk in that sanctification by your truth, that the word is truth, hallelujah, that we will be truth consecrated in our mission, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We repent today and turn away from our wicked ways, that you wash ourselves clean, that we cease to do evil, and we are learning to do what is right. So, Father, dwell in each and every single one of us today, hallelujah. Let us leave that corruption and compromise at the door in the name of Jesus, Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah. All glory to God. Father, Lord, that we walk in love, that we walk in your perfect will, that you align our thoughts with us. Hallelujah. And I just want us to finish off all together. And just if you could just lead with me with some personal affirmations this morning. The first one is, is that I, and I want you to repeat it, unmute and repeat it and reaffirm it to yourself this morning, that I have the spirit of power and love and self-discipline. Please repeat I'm after me. the power and love and self-discipline. Amen. That I choose life and I and my offspring may live. I choose life, life and my offspring may live. That I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. 
I am the righteousness of God of Christ Jesus. That my prayers will avail much. That my prayers will avail much. That I can do all things in Christ who strengthens me. That I can do all things in Christ who strengthens me. That the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. The Lord, the Lord is, is my, my shepherd, shepherd and, and I shall not want. want. That my God supplies all my needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. My God supplies yeah, all of my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving that I choose to make my requests known to God. And with everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, I choose to make my request known to God. I choose to honour God. I choose to honour God. 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 I choose to bring him glory. I choose choose to to bring bring him glory. glory. I have a mind of Christ. I have the mind of Christ. Christ. And hold the thoughts and feelings. And hold the thoughts thoughts and feelings. feelings. And the purposes of his heart. And the the purposes purposes of of his heart. heart. I choose to walk in the kingdom of light. I choose to walk in the kingdom of life. I choose to walk in the kingdom of love. I choose to walk in the kingdom of love. I choose to walk in the word. I choose to walk in the word. And the wicked one cannot touch me. And the wicked one cannot touch you. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. That I have the power to tread upon serpents. I have the power to tread upon scorpions. I have the power to tread upon scorpions. I have the power to tread upon scorpions. That I have all power over the enemy. That I have all power over the enemy. That today, that today, I take my shield of faith. I take my shield of faith and quench every fiery dart that Satan throws at me. And quench and every quench God, 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 God that greater is he that is in me that is in this world greater, greater is he that is in me that is in the world I am seated with Christ in heavenly places I'm seated with Christ in heavenly places I want you to say that again you are seated with Christ with heavenly places I want you to picture that whilst you're saying it that you are seated with Christ in heavenly places I am seated with Christ in heavenly places I want you to believe it remember what we just talked about the prayer of faith that you are seated with Christ in heavenly places right now I am seated with Christ in heavenly places right now. Oh, Lord, that the law of the spirit of life in Christ has made me free. That the spirit of Christ, the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free. Set me free from the law of death. From the law of sin and death. Easy. Man. Somebody even knew the Lord of sin and death. I love that. Go on, guys. You've got your scripture. You know your word. If God is for me, who can be against me? God is for me. Come on. Let's listen to this one. That I hear the voice of the good shepherd. That I, I hear, hear the voice of the good shepherd. I want you to hear. I want you to say it again because we're quick to hear the voice of the enemy, aren't we? I hear the voice of the good shepherd. I hear the voice of the good shepherd. I hear my father's voice. I hear my father's voice. voice. And the voice of the stranger I will not follow. And the voice of the stranger I will not follow. follow. Hallelujah. I roll up my works upon the Lord. I roll up my works upon the Lord. I roll up my works upon the Lord. Remember what we spoke about trust. I commit and trust. I commit and trust. I commit and trust. Now, this is one that we need to bring into line. I want you to really hold on to this, that he will cause my thoughts to become agreeable to his will. He will that cause he will my thoughts to become agreeable, 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 agreeable to his will. And guess what? My plans and will be so. established and I will succeed. My plans, my plans will, will, be will be established and I will succeed. succeed. I am God's masterpiece. I, I am God's masterpiece. masterpiece. I will fulfill the destiny God has given to me. I will, I will fulfill, fulfill the destiny, destiny that God, God has given me. Because I am joined to Jesus. Because, because I am joined, joined to Jesus. Jesus. Now remember that. 
If you said that prayer with any unbelief, it means nothing. Let's pray in tongues. Come on, let's send it up. Father God, we just don't ask you to open up the heavens that we can receive that to you, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, I just receive those prayers coming up to you, Lord, to the heavenly realm. Receive the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Holy Spirit, dispatch your minister in angels to us right now. We receive you, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that this is a Zoom platform here right now. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, that we feel your spirit right here, wherever we are. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Come wherever they are, wherever they room, wherever their location is right now. Dispatch your ministering angels and spirits to surround and camp around them. Right. Touch them by the power of the Holy Spirit right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are just a mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Zoom platform right here. Feel the power of the Holy Spirit right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All glory to you, Father God. All glory to you. We give you glory, honor, and praise there this morning. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Go in peace and serve the Lord your God. And remember who you are in Christ Jesus today. Remember the prayers that you reaffirm this morning. Hallelujah. Remember that the enemy has no hold over you today. Hallelujah. That you are a child of God and you are an ambassador. And God sees you worthy. You've been a Adopted into the family of faith. The unity is here right now. The kingdom of God is at hand for you to go out there and preach the good news of the gospel and tell somebody about the good news. Hallelujah. Even if you think that good news is, you know what? I'm one day clean. That's good news. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Good news. Good news. Go and tell somebody about the good news today. God bless you. May the Lord keep you. I want to see you guys on prayer tomorrow night. We're going to be praying corporately. I don't know who's on the rotor. But hallelujah. 8.30 tonight. It was awesome in there last night. Or last week, there were some yokes being broken. Hallelujah. And I believe there's more to come. So tomorrow night is our next program. Uh, 8.30 uh, tomorrow night. Prayer moves mountain that God is in the prayer and he's the one that's moving the mountains. Hallelujah. So let's come and seek him at 8 30 tomorrow night. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Amen. Bless Have a blessed day. Yeah. Take care. Yep. Bless you. Bye. Bye.